So we have some clips into our event. Before we go any further, uh, I want to say a couple words about setup um, and explain what we're looking at now that we're in iMovie and are ready to do something. In the upper left is the projects window. And that's where you build your piece. It's where you drag the clips, edit them, trim them, do whatever you need to do. At the bottom is the events window. That's where the clips are stored. If you're familiar with a Final Cut product, you're kind of used to having these two things in opposite places. The big long window being the timeline and the smaller area up at the top being the place where the clips are iMovie gives you a wonderful, almost magic feature to do this. Click on these two arrows to swap the events and the projects. And using Apple's wonderful genie effect, we now have the storage of our clips up in the top and the long wide place to build the project. That's my personal preference and just know that that's available to you. So up here now in the events window, I've got my clips that I imported from the camera. I have also imported a couple of other clips that are going to be cutaways that I'll use in this piece. There are other imports I want to make, and it's helpful to know that you can import footage from places other than your camera. In the file menu, import, you can import movie files from anywhere. I'll choose that. And one other movie file that I'll want is actually on my main hard drive where I store titles, logos, and other things that I use on a wide variety of projects. So I'm going to highlight the video title movie that is the ever popular Oregonian video graphic. I want to save this to my same external drive and add it to this iMovie 11 event. I'll bring it in at full size and I want to copy it from its current location into my project folder that makes up this movie. Hit import. And in it comes, it's pretty small, doesn't take long. I've already imported some cutaways that were much larger and, and uh, they took quite a few minutes, so I didn't bore you with that. But here's the intro movie. I can skim through it and see that it's right there ready to go. So now I have all the movie files that I need to start working on this project. Uh, just a couple of more details about setup. I have turned on the little blue button underneath the events library. And what that does, as I toggle it on and off, is show me the audio waveforms associated with these clips. I find that incredibly helpful. It gives you a visual on the sound that I'm going to be working with in editing. And there's that waveform button is not only in the events, but in the projects, and I turn those on in both places. The Next to that waveform button is a slider, and that slider lets me view these clips almost frame by frame or less. I set the events window to very small, and that slider also exists down here in the projects. And when we get something in there, you can see that that can be adjusted too. It's basically a zoom feature. The other thing you want to do with setup that's important is go to the iMovie menu and choose preferences. And make certain that you have show advanced tools checked. Most of these advanced tools are not going to be that helpful, but there is one, the cutaways feature, that is going to become our new best friend. So check advanced tools. That's really about it for setup. Now we can start editing.